everyone. I'm Ms. Jordy, the Young Adult Librarian at the Augusta Richmond County Public Library. Thank you for joining me today as I show you how to make customized stickers or decals using the packing tape image transfer method. You can use these to decorate candle holders, journals, notebooks, and more. These are ones that I made using personal photos of my trip to Myrtle Beach and at my sister's wedding with her cousin Mary, as well as with online photos that I printed. Well, you may be wondering, what is an image transfer? An image transfer is when you transfer an image from one surface onto another surface using various techniques. In her book, Playing with Image Transfers, Exploring Creative Imagery for Use in Art, Mixed Media, and Design, author and artist Courtney Sarudi says, image transfers live in this undefined space in art making. They are neither photographed nor painting. They are neither print nor collage. You can use black and white images and color images from photocopies and laser prints. You can use found images from clip art as well as copies of your personal photos. It is best to use photocopies and laser prints instead of inkjet prints. In her book, Courtney Cerruti says that laser prints and photocopies made with toner instead of ink use a heat process to set the toner in place. The toner sits on the surface of the paper, allowing it to be released when making a transfer. However, ink from an e-jet printer absorbs into the fibers of the paper. It cannot be released and therefore cannot make a transfer. If you don't have a laser jet printer at home, you can come to one of our branches to make photocopies, as well as print images from one of our computers using our laser jet printers. Black and white prints are 15 cents a page and color prints are $1 a page. When making image transfers, there are several transfer materials and mediums you can use, such as packing tape, gel mediums, solvents such as blender pens or acetone, and acrylic paint. When learning how to do image transfers, the packing tape method is a good one to start off with because it's easy and inexpensive. To make a packing tape image transfer, you will need the following materials. Scissors, any brand of packing tape, a photocopy or a magazine page, a bone folder or other burnishing tool such as a craft stick, popsicle stick or scissor handles, a basin or bowl of warm water, and wax paper. In my photo, you will see parchment paper pictured because I didn't have wax paper on hand, but for your projects, you'll want to use wax paper instead. Also, you may want to experiment with different brands of packing tape. I found that the Scotch brand packing tape was sturdier and easier to work with than the Dollar Tree brand, but both made good transfers. Now, the fun part, making your image transfer. Once you have your photocopy or the magazine page you want to transfer images from, cut a strip of packing tape the size of your image. Next, carefully lay the tape sticky side down across the image, starting at one end and slowly working your way across. Press down the tape with your fingers, and then use your burnishing tool to remove any bubbles or creases starting from the center out. Burnish thoroughly so that the ink from the image sticks to the tape because anywhere there is a crease or bubble will be clear or blank. However, don't worry if you get a bubble or crease you cannot burnish out because it can add an interesting distressed effect to your transfer. If your image is too large for one strip of packing tape, you can overlap with several strips and repeat the steps. Next, tear or cut around the tape. Place your image into a basin or bowl of warm water with the tape glossy side down and the paper facing you. With your thumbs, rub in a circular motion away the paper backing until all the paper pulp is removed. Once the tape is wet, you may not be able to see any remaining paper, but you will be able to feel its fibrous and fuzzy texture. A finished transfer will be smooth. As you continue to rub the paper backing off, you will start to see the clear part of the tape come through. Once the pulp is gone, remove the tape from the water and squeegee the length of the tape with your fingers. Then allow it to dry on a non-pore surface such as metal, plastic, or glass, or a sticky side up on a piece of wax paper. 
When the transfer is finished, scoop out the paper pulp from your basin and discard. Instead of pouring the remaining water down the drain, flush it down the toilet. You can use your image transfers to decorate your sketchbook or journals, as well as make postcards, Polaroids, jar labels, party bag decorations, gift wrap decorations, as well as decorating votive candle holders. You can learn how to make these projects in detail when you check out Courtney Cerruti's book, Playing with Image Transfers, Exploring Creative Imagery for Use in Art, Mixed Media, and Design with your Palms Library card. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoyed learning how to make this craft, please give the video a like and share it with others. If you made this craft, I would really love to see what you make, so please tag us with photos of your creations on the Young Adults at Augusta Library social media pages on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Have a happy new year and happy crafting. Until next time.